Greg Wallace has explained why he made British Miracle Meat, a mockumentary for Channel 4 after he faced backlash from viewers. Those tuning into the show saw Greg visit a factor which engineered human meat and met with families selling their flesh to a fictional company called Good Harvest. Greg was seen looking at products made from flesh including burgers and steaks, before tasting it himself. Many viewers complained over the episode with some certain Greg had ended his career by tucking into the human meat on TV. However, clarifying the documentary was made up Greg has explained why he made the show. Win a pair of tickets to the Coronation Street experience in a column for The Sun, he said, we wanted to raise important questions about the nation's relationship with food and what those struggling with the cost of living are being asked to do in order to stay afloat. The program makers consulted with experts to make sure what we were saying reflected what is actually happening and didn't wander into the realms of science fiction. Greg explained the premise for the show was inspired by satirical essay A Modest Proposal, written by Gulliver's Travels author Jonathan Swift in 1729. Don't miss! Loose Women star slams Greg Wallace for eating human meat, watch, Greg Wallace responds to mounting backlash over human meat documentary. Explainer, Channel 4 fans complain to Ofcom after Greg Wallace eats human meat, latest, Greg added, like Swift's essay, our program was a wild satire, but it also provokes interesting thoughts about the future of food. The Master Chef host went on to note it raises a load of fascinating moral questions as more fake meat products make their way into supermarkets. And, with the cost of food on the rise, he said the idea of human meat might not seem so far-fetched after all. Complaining about the documentary, one viewer boasted, I'm not sure that hashtag miracle meat will have done at Greg Wallace any favors career-wise. Maybe set a new record for Ofcom complaints. My wife wanted it switched off after 5 minutes, I imagine a lot did the same and didn't realize it was satire, which became more offs as it went on. Another added, what on earth was that all about? I spent the first 10 minutes feeling sick, then realized it couldn't be real. Is it April Fool's Day all over again? While a third boasted, very poor at Channel 4 for showing hashtag miracle meat before the watershed and without any disclaimer. I suspect you've just made at Ofcom very busy dealing with complaints and possibly just ended at Greg Wallace's career. Greg Wallace, the British miracle meat is available to watch on all four.